Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out to the Divine's channel, what is that? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back, guys. So this is Divine Masculine's voicemail to Divine Feminine for this week. So hopefully it resonates. Let's just get started. feel so restless part of me feels like giving up part of me feels like I don't want to hurt you anymore. Then I've already hurt you. I've never hated myself more for the pain and the choices and the decisions that I've made overall when it comes to you. And I think that's where a lot of my hurt comes from. I think a lot of my pain stems from how much I've let you down, how much I wasn't there for you. I know it seems like I don't care. I know it seems like I show no emotion, but I've never felt more like drowning than I do now. I've never felt more in my feelings than I do now. I have never cried and been physically lost the way that I feel All of my life, I have followed the path of other people. All of my life, I have done things to make others happy. Mostly because I was afraid. Mostly because I was afraid to show who I was. And when it came to you, I, I didn't. I was afraid of what people would say. I was afraid of people, opinions. So I allowed people to get into my head. I, I listened to my head more than I did my heart. I listened to the choices of other people and their opinions instead of really going within and listening to myself, really going within and saying, okay, what do you need in this time of your life? What is it that you want? I never really listened to myself. I followed other people. I followed what other people did. I followed their advice. I followed their choices and their plan for my life. But I didn't follow. And now that I'm feeling as low as I am for hurting you, for making you feel disappointed in me, for making you feel unworthy I don't understand why I chose to do what I did I guess I just I let fear get the best of me I wanted a family and I've always wanted a family and family is very important to me and I don't know, a part of me felt like you didn't want a family with me. A part of me felt like maybe we were on two different paths. Maybe we were on two different wavelengths. I also was dealing with money. 
And I don't want to use money as an excuse, but I felt like financially I wasn't stable. Financially, I didn't have anything to offer you. And I know you're going to say that money didn't matter, that love and happiness matters, and you're right. But at the time, I felt like, how could I support you when I couldn't support myself? But since I disconnected from you, since I dis ghosted you, I've been walking through a new beginning. I have been going through some transformations. A lot has changed. And I'm not that same person anymore. And I'm not asking you to forgive me today. Yeah, I'm not asking you to forgive me tomorrow. I'm asking you at some point to try and start that forgiveness process. Because I have been sitting here every single day since I ghosted from you. I have been contemplating how to pick up this phone and leave this voicemail, how to reach out, how to text, how to message. All I want is to communicate with you, to be able to express how I feel, to be able to tell you what it's been going on in my mind. Because I finally know that I'm done living my life for other people, that I, I want to be genuinely happy and I want to be with a person who I know loves me for me. And you've always loved me for me. You wanted nothing from me except love. And I want to offer you that back. I want to give you back that offer you of commitments. I want to be able to tell you that I love you. I want to be able to offer you a relationship, offer you stability, offer you comfort. Because with you, I have the world in my hands. With you, things feel more balanced. And it's been so long since I saw a rainbow. It's been so long since I felt that joy and I felt that happiness in my heart. But when I think about you, I just, I can't help but smile. I can't help but think back to our times together and, and think back to our moments. It was beautiful, wasn't it? And I know you've grown and you're not the same person either. And we're both working towards becoming better people, working towards becoming better individuals. But all this is doing is making us better. I've had my eyes on you since day one. And when I think about what being happy means to me, when I think about what, what lights me up, when I think about everything that I'm lacking and missing in my life, it always goes back to you. I was lost back then. I, I, I couldn't see. I felt... Like I had some type of blindfold that no matter how much God was showing me, I was just not living my life for me. I was trying to make everyone else around me happy. And I realized happiness doesn't come from other people. It comes from yourself. And I had to find my happy place within me. I had to, to love me again. And now that I love me, I can start loving you. I can start to be the man that you need me to be. I can start to open up. I can start to show you. I can I can be that person. I just need you to call me back. I need, I need you to know that I've never stopped thinking about you. And that my heart still beats a million thoughts for you. I miss you.